Good thing I saw that little guy. I had to jump right over him. Whew. I got my heart going a little bit. <laughs> Well, what a beautiful morning. Just look at that sunrise. Wow, it's gorgeous. Woo. So today I am reviewing the Ultimate Direction Race Vest 6.0. Last week I reviewed the Ultra Vest 6.0 and it was a great vest. I described that as both functional and versatile. So how does this vest compare? Is it a good vest? One that I recommend, let's find out on today's full review. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and give the video a like and drop a comment down below if you have any questions about this vest. You can also join the channel membership. Just click the join button below this video for a dollar a month. You can support me and this channel in the most meaningful way and I'd really appreciate that. So before I get into the likes and dislikes or things that I would improve and of course provide my recommendation, voiceover Chad, why don't you tell us about the specs of the vest? Ultimate Direction states that the Race Vest 6.0 is feather light yet feature rich. The Race Vest uses the latest and fully customizable vest fit technology with the ultra durable Comfort Cinch 3.0 and protective mesh panels that prevent chafing over many miles. Features and specs include 6.3 liters in volume or size, two Hydropack 500 milliliter bottles, Comfort Cinch 3.0 fit system, two front buckle straps with T-hook adjustments, zippered water resistant phone pocket, two front storage pockets, a large rear compartment to accommodate up to a two liter reservoir, two rear compartment pockets accessible while wearing the vest, six bungee loops to attach various items such as trekking poles, weighs in at 193 grams without the bottles, and has a US MSRP of $129.95. And if you're interested in viewing this item or any other item on Ultimate Direction's website, be sure to use my affiliate links down in the description or the pinned comment below. And I just love coming out here. I think it's so pretty. Just got the uh, this ridge here. You got the, uh, the foothills. I mean, it just doesn't get much better than this. All right, let's talk about some of the things that I like about this vest. So I would describe the Race Vest 6.0 as being lightweight and well thought out, purposely built. I love that Ultimate Direction builds this vest in such a way that there's no extra fluff. Everything has a, a purpose, it's all functional. Like I said, it's just well thought out. So the race vest comes with five pockets, not including the pockets that the soft flats up front sit in, or of course the large pocket in the back for the uh, optional hydration bladder. As for the pockets, um, I really like this zippered pocket. So this pocket is big enough to hold even my fairly large Pixel 6 Pro with a case. So I can slip that in there and I know that it's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna slip out of place. So just a good spot for your phone. That pocket is also water resistant, which is great. Then you also have two pockets here on the side, one on that side, one on this side, and it's just a great place to hold your gels, or other items that you're gonna need easy access to. I have a gel on this side and um, had a couple gels on this side. I also have my GoPro battery in there. You can put your trash in there. So again, just a convenient place to hold the things that you need access to. Moving along the back of the pack, you've got two more pockets. There's a nice pocket right here at the top that you can um, actually reach while on the run. You can put some extra gels, just really anything that you want quick and easy access to. You also have that pocket along the back, which Ultimate Direction says you can reach into while on the move, but I find it quite difficult 
get my hand up high enough to get into that pocket. I just can't quite do it. Nope. A little difficult to get my hand in there. I wanted to uh, actually pull the GoPro out earlier and put my headlamp in that pocket. I was trying to do it without taking the vest off and uh, ultimately just had to take the vest off. So it's a great pocket to hold extra stuff, but it's really hard to get to while on the move. That's not the end of the world because most vests, you can't reach that back pocket without taking the vest off anyways. Also like in that back pocket, there is a clip to attach your keys onto, which I did. Uh, it's a little hard to get the keys off, but I guess that just means it's extra secure. And that's really it as far as pockets go. So a little more minimalistic, but that's kind of the point of this vest. Being a race vest, you don't need all pockets everywhere. Keep it simple and it works. You also get six bungee straps. There's one right here. And of course on the other side, you got a, a couple down here. You can see that on each side. And then you have a couple in the back that I have tucked away in that uh, main compartment. And with those bungee cords, there's a hook on them and at least one place to hook them. So for example, you can see here that I have it hooked up at the top, but you can also reach around and hook it onto the uh, uh, T-straps or hooks right here. Um, so I mean, just a great way to attach some trekking poles or maybe something else. And I love that it's they're all functional. So that's another thing I like. And then of course you get a couple soft flasks. Now, when I received this vest from Ultimate Direction, and by the way, I'm not getting paid to say anything, all thoughts and opinions are my own, uh, but I did receive this vest for the purpose of review, along with the Ultra Vest that I've already reviewed. So check out that review after this video. Anyways, beginning in late 2023 and into 2024, all of their vests will include Hydropack uh, soft blasts, which is a really good thing because you get a lifetime warranty or guarantee with those soft blasts. I am a Hydropack ambassador, but I trust the brand. And by the way, if you want to save 10% on your entire Hydropack order, hit up my affiliate link and use my discount code down in the description or the pinned comment below. Okay, so like I said, when I received this vest, it did not include the Hydropack branded uh, soft blasts. It included the Ultimate Direction branded soft flats. I think the Hydropack ones are a much higher quality, uh, so I switched those into uh, this vest from the Ultra Vest. Now if you're curious, so these are the WMX Hydropack soft flats, the shorter ones, so if you're looking to replace those, that's what you want to get. The taller ones with the uh, speed caps uh, are a little too tall for this vest. So just be aware of that. I really like that it's super easy to get these in and out. Some packs, <coughs> Solomon, you uh, have a hard time getting those soft flasks in sometimes. So it's just super easy to get those in. And then a little trick. I cinch down this strap just a little bit and actually wrap it around the uh, uh, cap of the soft flask. What that does, it's not a guarantee, but it helps prevent it from falling down too far into this pocket. So it's uh, a little easier to get to when you need to. You can see that this one's kind of partially falling in, but it hasn't gone down all the way. So again, it just helps prevent the bottles from falling in. So you have easier access to them. So this pack is lightweight, which I really like as well. It's fairly breathable. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say any pack is extremely breathable. There's there's a few out there. Um, so it's fairly breathable, but there is, I can feel one spot in the center of my back that's not overly breathable, but I think that's just because the fabric of the vest is, you know, pressed up against your back. And so it can't really have an opportunity to breathe very well. The material here is nice and durable. Uh, and I also really like this gray piping uh, material here. It's very soft, almost uh, suede-like. So it feels good on the body and on the skin. No irritation or rubbing at all on this vest, which is another thing that I like. Of course, you also have these good straps 
that uh, you can adjust. And then a little trick, you can take the extra piece of fabric from the strap and loop it through the uh, T-straps here, uh, just to kind of tuck it out of the way. So that way it's not flopping around on you. The buckles are super easy to use. Um, I mean, you can release them really quick and easy and then of course reattach them, although it takes two hands. Oh boy, getting a little personal here, huh? So yeah, just reattach is really easy. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it as far as the features and the likes of the pack. Um, I do like it. It's a good pack. I like that it's lightweight. It fits well. Um, oh, you also have on the back, uh, if you can see, there's this strap right here. And if you pull that, uh, you can adjust the tightness or the fit of the vest. So what that does is gonna pull the vest in towards the back, uh, uh, just keeping it nice and tight on your body as needed. I haven't used Ultimate Direction vests of the past, but I've heard from others that this is a much, much better, more comfortable system. And honestly, I don't feel the straps or the strings or anything that's back there for that adjustment. I don't feel it at all. So it's very comfortable on your back. Okay, so what are the cons or what are the things that I would change with this vest? Uh, just a couple things. One, I wish these straps were more of a bungee, elastic bungee type of cord. I like a vest that adapts and moves with you, especially as you're breathing in and out and twisting and turning. And I feel like if these front straps were more of a bungee strap, then it would just be a little more adaptable to you. Second thing that I wish were on this pack is a dedicated like trash pocket. Um, somewhere where I can stick my trash from the, a gel or whatever and just put it out of the way and not get the stickiness or the goo uh, on anything else or another gel or whatever. So I wish there was a dedicated trash pocket maybe inside this pocket or on, on the outside somewhere. Um, I, I think that'd just be really nice. And the last item that I wish were a little bit improved is the overall bounce of the vest, particularly in the front where the soft glass are. I feel like there's just a little bit of extra bounce. Um, again, no vest is perfect in that regard, uh, but I feel like the ultra vest actually does a little bit better than this race vest because it's just a little more balanced. This vest being a little more minimalistic you're not gonna be carrying as much stuff in the back and therefore a lot of that weight is still here in the front and your soft flasks kind of bounce a little bit. It's not a deal breaker, just not even an annoyance. It's just observed. Future Chad here, just wanted to mention that you know, in regards to the bottle bouncing, I did tighten up these straps just a little bit and that seemed to help reduce the bounce of the front of the vest here actually more than I thought it would. So just take that for what it's worth. Okay, present Chad, back to you. But I don't wanna leave this video off on a Debbie Downer note because this really is a nice vest and I've really enjoyed using it. This fabric is nice and soft. It's stretchy. The whole vest feels really well made and has really nice material. I also think it's a really good value. I mean, at just a hair under $130 US MSRP, I think that's a really good value. You're getting a good vest for your money. So with that said, I recommend the vest. I also recommend you check out the Ultra Vest because for 20 bucks more, I think you're getting a little bit more versatile uh, hydration pack or vest. Check out my video review of that. But if you're not looking for a vest for those long trail days and ultras, and you want something just a little bit more simplistic, yeah, definitely check this vest out. Now let me know if you have any questions about this vest or if there's maybe something I forgot to mention, check out the comments down below, drop a comment down below, give the video a like. Hey, and if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Click that subscribe button. You can also give me a follow on Strava 
and Instagram or Facebook. And I think that's all I have for today's review. Whew. Man, I'm breathing hard now. Getting excited about this vest. Alrighty, I'm gonna go finish up this long run. Should be doing about hopefully 18 miles today out on the trails. Just having a great time. Whew. Whew. Remember to be consistent. Express gratitude and enjoy every mile as I am today in the Ultimate Direction Race Fest 6.0. See you on the next video. Bye now.